Nerd Soul. Late ill kid at one young so holding down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. And what is up, my people? This week, this week, man, Rogue One comes out. That's right, Star Wars Rogue One comes out this week. And in celebration, your boy Late ill kid got to hold it down. And we're going to be talking about Star Wars all week. Now, in this case, we're talking about thumbnails. So, in the animation tip, we're going to be talking about Star Wars Rebels. And of course, everything that goes in around that since we have just hit our mid-season finale. Now, before I get into Rebels as a whole, let's go on and talk about Voices and Visions, which is the most recent episode that I have to say really comes with it. It gives you everything that you want from Star Wars. You get Rebel Base Talk, we get uh, Force Flashes and Force Visions, we get some lightsaber battles, and we get a little bit of a peek to the past and a peek to the future. Uh, the peek to the past that we get to see is just returning to Dathomir. And we get to see not only Bindu dropping some knowledge on Kanan and Ezra, but we also get to see that for some reason, Darth Maul really feels that uh, Ezra is his apprentice and he is not letting up on that. But a, co a kind of cool thing that you get to see is his dynamic with Ezra and how Ezra feels that he can handle or kind of like, I guess, take care of the Darth Maul problem on his own. Uh, I think that's gonna get him in a lot of trouble. But in this case, another thing that you get to see is Sabine connecting with a piece of her past that she may know or may not know, but it's definitely a piece of Mandalorian culture that I'm glad that she got to pick up. And that was the Darksaber. Um, it was just really cool being able to go to Dathomir, get to see that, you know, that had been, you know, the home base of Darth Maul so long, even though, even after everyone had been, you know, defeated and killed off and, you know, it's desolate. And that's his kind of fortress of solitude, if you will. And he has all these trinkets and everything. And he uses this, uh, I guess, uh, the last of the sisters, the Night Sisters magic to try to get the force vision back that Ezra and he shared when they were both looking for something. And we get to see that they're looking for the same guy. And that guy is Obi-Wan Kenobi. That is right. Of course, Ezra is looking for a way to stop the Sith and Darth Maul is looking for revenge. But the cool thing is that both of them for different reasons, have the same destination. And I just thought that was really cool. Um, and then you get to see Kanan and Sabine uh, enter in and try to, I guess, rectify the situation and get a handle on Darth Maul themselves. They end up getting possessed by the Night Sisters, I guess, souls or the ancestors of the Night Sisters. And you get to see um, a really cool battle, a, a really cool, I guess, four-way battle. Um, with just a lot of lightsabers and a lot of flips and a lot of cool stuff and some great choreography where I think that Star Wars Rebels really shines. So I'd have to say after an episode like the last one with Hondo, this is a very refreshing look and a refreshing take on just Star Wars Rebels as a whole. This is an episode that is definitely worth watching. And I have to give it, I have to say I give it like a B plus, A minus. This was, this was real dope. I think it... It felt like it moved fast. Uh, I would have definitely loved more in this episode uh, or more of this episode. But of course, you know, you only got 30 minutes or well, I guess sort of 22 minutes, but that's all you get. But this episode was great. And I think you guys should definitely check out Voices and Visions, which seems to be what they would consider sort of mid-season finale because it's not coming back until I think January. So now that that is aside, we can get to Star Wars Rebels, what I consider my overlook of the season as a whole. Um, Star Wars Rebels is just one of those shows that I think still needs to get its footing. Um, and here's why. Uh, in a lot of cases, uh, now that we've seen two and a half seasons, we get this trailer at the beginning of the season where it's just 
action packed and it's amazing and you get hyped and you're like what in the world are they you, you know they're just going all out and they're killing it and then you get into the season and you get a lot of just slow drawn out filler episodes and i think that this is where clone wars really shine uh i think clone wars had less filler episodes than um star wars rebels did at this period in time in their respective seasons or respective series um i just it's tough to wrap my mind around a show that comes out with this bombastic first two-part episode that's just so clearly amazing and then you turn around with about seven episodes of just filler i mean straight up filler episodes um especially in season three now since we've seen hondo so many times and hondo in my opinion is very good and very small doses he's what i would consider a spice you know you you use him very sparingly and i think that's how clone wars used him clone wars used him in a very very small very very minuscule capacity we saw him every now and then and it was great when we saw him because he was a breath of fresh air but we have seen him overused in this season three of rebels and i think it's hurting it for me it's really hurting it um also since the beginning of season rebels ezra has been a weak point for me um i don't know how else to call it it's just been weak like it's this this show has just really in my opinion been dragged down by ezra and what we have to do concerning ezra and it just is just not really working how I thought it would work. Um, and I guess you could say that's a good or a bad thing, but it just, it you know, Ezra is, at times, he's whiny. Um, they don't know what to do with his powers yet. Uh, they show him being extremely strong, but then they show him where he can't handle, like, you know, like a couple of droids. They need to make their mind up what they want to do with his powers. And um, it, it irks me. Um, but as a whole, I think the show is cool. It's just the great episodes that shine are very spread out and they're too few and far between. Um, for instance, in the second season when we had our mid-season trailer, we saw all of this action, all of this gorgeous, you know, just scenery, battle sequences, these, you know, emotional po points between Ahsoka and Darth Maul and Kanan and Ezra and all of that stuff was like in the last two episodes of the season um, and you you watch the show and you can't help but you know feel like you've been I don't know hooked with a bait and switch to a certain degree because you get to see this trailer that is promising so much greatness and the trailer is cut amazingly and then you get into the season and it's just you know, you're you're looking at space whales, or with this season, you're getting Hondo, and you know you see Thrawn, and you're thinking that Thrawn is going to have more screen time. And I think since Thrawn's been in two episodes, I guess technically three, but the dude had like one scene in one of the season. I mean, one of the episodes. So it's like I don't know why they've changed up how they tell the story from Clone Wars and Clone Wars they told more of like blocks of stories but um it's not that I don't like Rebels it's just that it's tough to get with Rebels because it's it's peaks are so high but then it's valleys are so low but anyway guys go on jump down in the comments holler at me let me know what you think about Rebels as a series so far we're in season three we're probably going to have about five seasons um maybe six i'm guessing five will probably be the number but uh let me know what you think about you know rebels right now um i'm i'm on the fence about it there's things that i love about rebels and then there's things that just they are blowing my mind like why are they doing this but anyway of course before you get out of here check out thatnerdsoul.com you can go there and check out all of my videos from the oldest to the latest that's right everything from myself to collabs with isaac to after buzz tv and popcorn talk network you talk nation everybody and then don't forget to hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com that's right pick yourself up a t-shirt player and don't forget 
also one for my play X. And then you can come right back here, like, comment, and subscribe, and share that nerd soul. Don't be stingy, baby. That's right. Let people know what you love, and that's the only way I can let people know, like sponsors and everything, what you like to hear. And of course, LA what up, RVA what up, and VA you got my heart. Before you get out of here, be good to yourselves. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.